Another one. What are you under there, then? Ant. Or rocks. What are you talking about? The keepers of this place. They change their form to fit their need. They become birds to hunt on the wing. Bears to tear flesh with teeth. But for me, only oxen, only same old hay. And I cannot even eat it because the horned ones hide their shiny bits inside. Shiny bits? They put something in your hay? Hiding things. Thinking they're clever. Not clever. Sometimes I eat the shiny bits and they have to go looking for them on the other end. Oh no. <clears throat> oh no. Um... Be gone. I am hungry. It's fair. I know those feels. Hold out your hand, mister. Let me show you something. Yo. Go on. Take this ring. It's lucky. That was a fancy trick. You haven't seen anything yet, mister. Go on, take the ring and watch your fortune change. Sleight of hand. Mimic his trick and make the ring disappear. Oh. Roll again. don't need extra luck but since you're already holding the thing call it heads or tails 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 it is see that's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings i've got more where that came from real cheat too interested One, toy, one coin toss doesn't prove anything. Okay, fair. Let's go again. Heads or tails? Call it. Heads. Heads it is. There. Happy? Not yet. Flip it again. Really? I mean, fine. Heads or tails? Tails. Tails it is. There. Happy? Again. Mister, come on. Okay. Heads or tails? Heads. Heads it is. There. Happy? Again. Fine. Heads or tails? <laughs> tails. Tails it is. There. Happy? Again. Heads or tails? <laughs> How much of this is there? Heads it is. There. Happy? Again. You're killing me here, mister. You really are. Just take the ring, huh? Free sample. Now, you want to take a look at the other stuff I got? Or maybe you just want to go? Okay. You got it. One sec. Wow. That's what I got. Succeeded in perception. Orc plate Tarbell's guide to distractions Ring of infinite wishes Ring of resistance to ants Ring of lecanesis Ring of being really invisible Thieves tools A shovel and some beer Kid why are you having beer What? There's an attitude bar look at this I didn't notice that before I'm good Nothing cool you suddenly feel something moving against your back and turn. Mm. 
insight. You notice she's trembling. The tears streaming down her cheeks are indeed real. Relax, I won't get angry. You didn't even manage to get anything from me. I can't do this anymore, Mattis. I'm sorry. Oh. Uh, hey, are you here to trade or? Your partner's a thief. Yeah, I know. I was standing right here telling her to rob you. You can at least pretend to be sorry. I am sorry. Sorry we're still talking about this. Look, you caught her. Good for you. You want a chump like everyone else around her. Now, do me a favor. Make room for the chumps. Bro! Think you could stand back a ways, pal? I'm fishing for chumps here. Wow. Um. Dang, dude. Could you be like a small race to go in there? This place seems remarkably tense for a sacred grove. Perhaps we shouldn't linger. Oh, get the damn fish! But let's at least see if there's a healer to be found, first of all. What do you think of all that's happened to us so far? Hydration is quite required. Enough, but likely more to Thanks, come. Amelia. Care What's to that? narrow it down a little? You have thoughts about our stowaways? Must I? Thinking about it won't help. We know what to do, so let's do it. Find a way to rid ourselves of these things. I'm not too hopeful that a gith crash will actually prove our salvation, but worth keeping in mind. What would you do if we remove the temples? I suppose we'd go our separate ways. Not a slight on your company, of course. Where would you go? Home. Baldur's Gate. Hmm. There's someone waiting for me there. Someone I have to reach. As soon as possible. Friend, family, lover? Let's just say it's a very personal, very private acquaintance. Am I holding up to your estimations? I must admit, you've been a surprise. And not an unpleasant one. Kindred spirits are few and far between for me. Besides, you saved my life aboard the Nautiloid. How can I do anything but sing your praises? That's fair. Okay. So we can't go in there right now. We gotta figure out a way to do that. <gasps> There's a fishing rod right there! Please, let's through. It is forbidden. Let my daughter go right uh -oh. now! She's a thief, hell spawn, and you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back! Ugh! Let me through, Mradrashev, or I'll rip your damn throat out! <laughs> Lives are at stake, and the cowards only care about their bloody rituals. have taken those guards. I could try grease and palms. These things over. Oh, because that went so well last time. Do all the damn rituals you want. We're not leaving till it's safe. We're not scared of you. We need to get Arabella out now. You heard the guards. They're waiting on Corker to give word. I'd sooner trek through the nine hells than trust that snake. Ugh. Why are they holding your daughter? Arabella tried to steal their idol. Druids lost their damn minds about it. They need it for their precious ritual. Oh, it's all my fault. I told her I wished the wretched thing would just disappear, or better yet, explode. 
Now Arabella's being judged by a bunch of druids who hate us. That's not right. This grove is like a cauldron about to boil over. I say we check in on the child. Make sure she comes to no harm. Hmm. Like I said, it's your fault. You should have tried parenting her. We'll do it. Thank you. They won't give us the time of day. Hurry! I'm at the end of my tether as is. Damn, dude. Take this waiting. Asterion hates us, man. Hmm. She must be terrified. I bet she's giving them hell. She's not our kid for nothing. You know, I hate to say it because I love Neil Newbon, but I'm wondering if we if we're gonna have to save Asterion for a different playthrough. Because this dude, like, every every channel that or every every time that I channel like goodness, he hates me more. And and I'm starting to realize like. I don't know if this is going to work, man. This Whoa. is boring. Is this? We should train against real goblins. Next time the goblins come, I'll be ready. Children die oh. if I met the road. Uh, right. Uh, go for the heart. Go on. Give me a best shot. Not bad. Again. I can't do it. I'm not like you. Umi, I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. It's good advice. Hmm. You're on the right path, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your... The man's smile bends downward. And his thoughts become yours. There we go. You are the blade of frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe hell. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You are on the ship. Yep. Hmm. Doomed to shed our skin and become a lithid. Or so the stories go. But we haven't sprouted any tentacles. Not yet, anyway. Unfortunately. Good luck. I'm not so. Your minds collide once more. Will chases the fiend ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil. A threat to the living. Evil incarnate. Shit! You saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. Advocatus Diaboli. Hey! A devil's advocate. A champion in the blood war between diabolical forces and demons. Who is she? A devil's advocate. Do you think she'll bring the blood war to Faroon? That ship sailed the sticks already. All I can hope for is to limit the damage. Her name is Karlak. An archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. <laughs> I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship but the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her. She'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. I'm looking at curious, well, let's join forces. I'll help you cast this devil back into the hells. An excellent suggestion, but your party's full up. Still, when the time comes, call for the blade. I won't be long to answer. Go to my camp and wait. A splendid plan. We'll talk more there. So, oh, maybe for now I should bring Will instead of Asterion? Tiring business, isn't it? <clears throat> All this traveling and adventuring. Yeah. Why don't we take a little break? Hmm? Allow ourselves a few moments of rest. 
gives me a chance to talk to you about something, well, rather important. Yeah, absolutely. We've been on the road together for a while now, haven't we? Hmm? Survived some perils, overcame some obstacles. Ever since you were kind enough to free me from that stone, I've seen you demonstrate remarkable guile and courage. The way you diffuse the tension between Zevlor and Aradin. In short, I've grown to trust you. It's gratifying to hear. The reason I make a point of saying this is that I've grown confident enough to tell you something I've yet to tell another living soul, except for my cat. You see, I have this condition. Very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. What kind of condition? The specifics are rather personal, but suffice it to say that it is a malady I've learned to live with, though not without some effort. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. What happens if you don't consume them? I'll spare you the finer details, but it begins with a simple biological deterioration, muscle spasms, disorientation, a slight ringing in the ears, and, if left for too long, catastrophe. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact, and before we were abducted. It's only a matter of time before my craving returns. That is why I turn to you. I need you to help me find magic items to consume. It is vital. Dare I say it? Critical. This bro is like a magic drug addict? Where do we find these things? We've already done the finding. In fact, you have one in your possession. You know for yourself how hard won such an item was, and it will be no easier when even more are required to assuage my hunger. Man, don't oversell it. <laughs> There'll be danger involved. Or great cost. Expect as much, don't worry, I'm happy to help. Splendid. Bit of boldness will serve us well. I'm sure we won't have to look very far to find what I need. Faerun overflows with magic-infused treasure. As do our packs, as a matter of fact. We have such an item already in our possession. Primed for the moment the need arises. I hope I can count on you. Huh. This is no fortress and we're no warriors. That is interesting. I saw you at the gates. You fight well. A few words for the kids. Don't Spare enable a story them. or two. <laughs> Strong and much over your kin. Entrust there is victory. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I prefer. I'm sad. I thought we could do bard stuff there. Okay. Look at them beaming. You did that. Nice. Again. Swing and swing and parry. And again. Swing and swing and... Find pride and purpose and join the flaming fist. <laughs> I serve the flaming fist. Uh, anything of use? I'll be back in the gate by now. Tear up. Until Ronan shows off his thunder wave. Depends. How many people are okay, that loops around to here. Play a song in front of him? I totally will. What's up, Ramira? There's a lot of stuff no helping it. Works. Damn goblins. Wait for it to finish cleaning the wound. Like the sight of blood, do you? Thought you'd have had your fill at the gate. Might be more Creepy. blood spilled yet. If Zevlor starts in on the lectures again. I'd have done the same in your place. Well, finally. Someone who ain't got horns where their good sense should be. We expected a soft job. 
Something to test the new lad, maybe, but not a bloody goblin nest. Most would have turned tail at the sight, but not Liam, no. He charged him, the stupid bastard. I'm guessing that didn't end well. No. He must have thought we were following. Always the optimist was Liam. Hope they cut him down quick before he saw we were gone. Oh, man. No mercy. We're packing up, and I'd advise you to do the same. Seems our kind ain't welcome here. Arth! Good to be back behind the walls, have to say. For as long as that lasts. The name's Arth. Don't make me hurt you, boy. Too late! Looking at you is painful enough. Ouch! Dang. If it ain't the fearless goblin slayer, you sure you want to be seen with me? I ain't exactly popular with this lot. You could try to be a little friendlier. Thanks, Mum. Now please do feck off. Saved your skin back at the gates. Yeah, you really saved the day. Swooping in and playing the hero. Now I'm gonna take the blame for leading the goblins here. And losing track of the bloody druid. Where'd the goblins come from? They chased us. All the way from the ruins we were poking around in. Is that where you lost track of the druid you mentioned? Aye. His name's Halsin. And if he's still alive, oh, yeah. he'll be cursing the day he laid eyes on me. We've okay. got a contract to track down some relic. And he wanted in on the job. Eyes lit up when he heard about it. Didn't work out, though. Goblins got him when we were turning tail. He's either digging latrines or boiling in a cook pot by now. Have a look at the contract? <laughs> Job's all yours. If you got a death wish. There's a wizard in Baldur's Gate that'll pay goblos for a relic supposedly buried round these parts. But gold ain't any use if you're too cold to spend it. Tell me where to find it. Any idea where it really is? If I knew that, I wouldn't be back here with half my crew gone. But look... If you're itching to meet Kellenvor, I won't stop you. It's called the Night Song. It's supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. I'd give you the map and wish you a happy funeral. But my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own todger. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. All I've got's the contract. Good show. It'll show you where we turn back. Shadow Nexus, thank if you, you buddy. Like dying. Somebody said the voice doesn't match the character here. I I think it does. Don't thank me. I'll be well on my way to Boulder's Gate when you die. Ouch. If it's fine. Can't wait to get back to the gate. It's Bex! And we'll have a dog, right? They don't allow them in Boulder's Gate. Cats, though. A little orange cat. And a house with a little door so that it can come and go as it pleases. And a high fence to keep eavesdroppers out. Oh, wow. Didn't mean to interrupt. Good luck to you both. Thanks. I suppose we'll all need it. What about you? Big plans for when you get to the city? It's the blushing mermaid for me. A bit rough, but the ale's cheap. <laughs> We've had enough rough to last us a good long while. Good luck to you then, and wish us some too. Cool. Is I'll that talk it? To the guards in Boulder's Gate. I suppose we'll start in the outer city, oh. get a little business going. Your spiced tea is life changing, and I can bake up almond cakes 20 at a time. Where are you? I suppose we'll start in the outer city. Okay, they're adorable. I really hope they don't die a terrible death. They probably will. What I do for some salt. How long until Roland shows off his thunder wave? Hey, okay. Depends. You saw you fighting those slimy bastards. Fancy a bowl? Best to fill your belly now while we still can. Hmm. Mm. 
once I can. Sure. Look, it ain't much, but it might make all the difference. The only way we'll make it to Baldur's Gate is to run, and run hard. If a knoll catches your scent, you'll need every bit of strength. Trust me. Uh, Anabi says, I can barely get past the intellect of hours. They one-shot kill me in Shadowheart, and I can barely kill them in two or three. Yeah, for me, it was, um, I commanded one of them to stop, and then focused one of them down, and then the other. But they, they hurt a lot, especially at the beginning. You've had your share. Leave. They definitely hurt. What is this little... Get back, kid. I already told you I don't have it! How stupid are you? Ah, uh, if it isn't the talk of the camp. Thank goodness you came along when you... Oh. There isn't a bit of color in those cheeks, Pickle. Are you harsh, cold, feverish? Auntie Ethel will sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. Dude, I love this lady. Let her fuss over you. Aha! Uh -huh. You take a sip of that and you'll feel right as rain, sweetie. I hope Asterion gets healed from this. Drink the potion. As you down the potion, a comforting warmth spreads through you. Hmm. I swear you're still as peaky looking. I've been better. It's difficult to explain. Oh, I've seen it all. I once had a fella who'd been caught dabbling with a dryad. The wife was none too pleased and introduced him to a pot of boiling oil. But worry not. I fixed him up, and depending on the lighting, he looks good as new. Ah! <laughs> My point is, whatever ails you, I promise I've seen worse. What is it, Pickle? What's wrong? I've got a Mind Flare parasite in my head. As you recount your adventure, Auntie Ethel nods along, her eyes wide. You poor pet! My heart goes out to you, truly! I see no sign of a tentacle yet, but that could change in an instant. You need help. Serious help. I've ne'er a potion or lotion here that could do it, but yes, I may have something at home. Wait, seriously? The chaps? I've collected some interesting bits and bobs over the years. You'll you have do? to stop by my house just at the edge of the forest. Let me mark it on your map. I'll be heading back soon so I can meet you there. <laughs> now, do you need anything? I have a few odds and ends for sale. Absolutely. What's the harm? Show me your wares. Hey, bother. I think this woman's going to try to eat us. What do you think? She's going to try to eat us? Yeah? Yeah. Potion of invisibility. Oh, Gale can uh, absorb this. Uh, I should probably buy it just for that, huh? No, nope, can't press the buttons. Don't press the buttons. Don't press the buttons. Um, I'm gonna buy that. I already told you I don't have it. How stupid oh. are you? Be careful on the road. I'd hate if something happened to you. Take care, Peggy. Okay. 